What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Missing Hiker. This is a free game over on Steam that I saw got recommended to me on my homepage. I thought I'd check it out. So let's go ahead and hit play. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. Went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take the matters into my own hands. Ooh, is it snowing or is it raining? Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I've been playing a lot of horror games that start off with you driving in a car with some real funky music lately. Um, so this is very interesting to see. I, I checked to see if this developer was someone familiar that I've seen before and I haven't seen, at least not on their Steam page, they don't have any other games that they've made. I guess we're just driving for now. It's pretty relaxing. Our car is extremely loud. <laughs> Go up here. Narrow road, five kilometers. Let's get into our uh, rear view, or <laughs> rear view, our brake lights work. In, we can see it in the rear view mirror. That's what I was trying to say. Now, which side of the road <laughs> should I be driving on? We're just going crazy here. There's nobody here. It's fine. We're totally fine. It's a beautiful night. Nice and cozy. Got the moon up in the sky. What is that over there? Is that a gas station? Are we going to be in a horror gas station? This is how I always go about, don't they? Okay, well, let's, let's get a move on. Oh, yeah. That's a gas station. <gasps> Can I hit the car? I'm going to try to hit the car. Come on, let's go. <laughs> from a car crash. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I'm so glad that they added that into the game. Usually, usually with horror games like this, little indie horrors, free ones, it, it, it's not even a thing. Like as soon as you start driving and you like try to run into something, or if you're like walking around and there's cars, they just phase right through you and it's like, eh, eh whatever. <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. Well, let's uh, drive on back to the gas station, why don't we? Okay, let's not crash into the car this time. Also, a fun fact, apparently you can press F to turn on and on, on and off your headlights, which is a very nice little touch. Huh. Okay. Our gas seems to be nondescript. We, we have no idea, actually. I should park at this gas station and ask if they saw my brother. Yeah, sure. You know, let's 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 park next to the pump, because you never know. You never know if you actually need to uh, need to get some gas. Um. Okay, do I actually have to park the car? Not here. <laughs> Anytime I stop at a gas station, like if I need to go to the convenience store or something, I will typically just park next to the gas pump. I know I'm a terrible person. It's so much easier. So much. So much more effective that way. There we go. Turn off the music. <laughs> Let's get in here. Press F to use flashlight. Oh, okay. It's nice that we have a flashlight out here. Even walking around the gas station. Okay, got some cars. Seems pretty lively. It's nothing terrible out here so far. Beam boom. Oh, they got their own noises. Hi. No, no, I'm talking to the attendant first. What's up, dude? Like your shirt. What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and he's pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Yes. The guy saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises come from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. 
There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. Oh, what, what a helpful gas station attendant. Appreciate you, buddy. Here's a flashlight in your face. <laughs> Should I stop for snacks myself? Maybe some hot sauce? Can I crouch? I cannot crouch. So that means we're not going to be hiding from anything, so that's good at least. Hey, man, what's your name? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. <laughs> Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. <laughs> also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. I'm talking like that because he's got a suit, especially in this area. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, look, man. I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> Even unlocked. Annoying. You're gonna shine my flashlight in your face now. Stinker. Vegan mayonnaise. Energy drinks. Pale ale. Gosh, I hate IPAs. Sorry to any beer aficionados out there, but IPAs are the worst thing that's ever happened to the to beers in a long time. It's just they're everywhere. Every if you go to a brewery, 95% of every single beer is an IPA, and I can't stand it. Just can't stand it. I like a good, uh, um, I'm trying to think of what kind of beers I like. Off the top of my head. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Can I knock in my car? Maybe I need to talk to this person. Hello? Can I get in your car? Someone in there? Must be the rich man's car. Mr. Snooty. Okay. Wait, am I not driving my car? Okay, I guess we're just walking the route. Interesting. Uh, Belgium Strong Ales. I really like Belgium Strongs. Very good. Very tasty. I like beers that have a lot of flavor to them. Not, I'm not really a big drinker. Um, but if I have a, have a beer, I usually like to get a, a Belgium. Very tasty. Drink responsibly. Or don't drink at all. Anyway. <laughs> We're off to the Red Mountain. Let's go. Don't know where we're going here. I'm a little worried that I'm walking on foot too. I am going to become the missing hiker, aren't I? Hello? I don't like this. Well, I guess if we stay on the road, we're not gonna be seeing any trouble from any wildlife out here, any bears, anything of that nature. Is that a campsite? It is. There's a little tent there. But surely, if I go off the road, I, I'm going to be attacked by a bobcat. My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer word. look. Okay. So this is not my brother's tent. But we do want to check it out. Is someone going to pop out of here? <laughs> Why did the music go weird? Okay, let's get back to the road. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Doesn't seem to be anything to check out here at this tent. So I'm gonna ignore you. You're just just some hiker. He's just hanging out. He's just relaxing. I do very much enjoy this very light snow snowfall. How it just kind of softly falls onto the ground, melts away. Really nice effect. It's very cozy. I have the strangest feeling that something is following me. Or at least something is watching me. Oh, uh, now that I just said that, I got chills. <laughs> Not because it's just cold in this area. Hopefully I've got a winter jacket, some proper boots. He's slipping all over the place here. Just whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> okay, got some cool rocks. I like a good rock. I like a good wintry tree. You know what else is a nice effect? The the light ever so slightly peeking out of the the hillside in the distance. It's very faint, but it's a it's a really nice little touch. <clears throat> you get this complete darkness when looking at the side of the mountain. But once you see over it, you can actually see a little bit of the ambient light. Whether that be from the world around you, like a city, city lights, 
Maybe the sun recently set. There's still just some very slight light on the horizon. Whatever it might be. I feel like I'm really walking far. I feel like I should be getting my car. It's getting really cold. I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. Uh, sh sure, I guess. This feels like it's gonna go poorly. I'm freezing. Okay, eat a place tent. Sure. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build a tent. Well, this is your own problem, buddy. This road is not that, <laughs> not that terrible. You could have just taken your car. Ooh, that's a nice tent. Let's get inside of it. <laughs> Incorporated. Oh, it's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. <laughs> okay. Nice little sleep here. Hello? I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if that was real or imagined. Okay. I need to check. Could be my brother screaming for help. Alright, I guess we'll get out of the tent then. Um, there's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see if I could, if that could be my brother. Oh, 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 I, oh, I don't like the noises. Oh, I don't like the noises. The crunching snow under my feet is great though. <laughs> Such a nice sound. Hello? Brother? Brother, is that you? That just looks like a whole house. <laughs> huh. oh, quickly, man. Quickly. Maybe they'll have a nice fireplace. A nice stove where they can put your little numb fingies over. <laughs> Get a little too cold out here. Brother? Brother, is that you? Did you build this nice little house out here in the woods in the last 24 hours? <gasps> My flashlight. No. Please, no. What is this? Is that a backpack? Is that my brother's backpack? That's my brother's backpack. He must have been here. <gasps> Let's go and inspect. Weird, the backpack is completely empty. Nothing in here. Hmm. Hmm. She even unlocked a backpack. <laughs> okay. Nice achievement. Hello? I'm not an intruder. I'm not trying to steal anything or break into your house, but... I saw my brother's backpack outside. Hope you don't mind. I'm going to knock on your door here. Press E to use the door. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm coming in. Please don't shoot. Or punch. Or stab. Heard screams. Out in the distance? Yeah, I'll close the door. It's a camera. <gasps> what the hell? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta go. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> Is that a butcher? A butcher thing? With a meat? Hook? Yeah, we're, we're screwed. We're definitely screwed. Um, okay, let's go inside. Turn on the generator, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> generator? He's right behind me. Isn't he? Surprisingly, no. Oh! Oh boy, oh boy, your body was never found. Oh boy, <laughs> quite interesting, very interesting. I'm curious if there's another potential ending to this because that felt like the worst possible ending. Obviously it was just this man that is like hunting people in the middle of the woods, but uh, I wonder if you can choose to not go check out the lights. So I'm gonna go check that out, see if there's anything else here.
So yeah, there, there's no other endings. I, I tried to keep walking forward into the forest rather than looking at the tent and as well as when I was cold. And then also after I got out of the tent, I tried to not go towards the house, but the game kept saying, you're going the wrong way. So keep going towards your death. Um, but yeah, so there's only one ending. Technically there's two since you could die by getting hit by a car at the very beginning. So I got both endings in this game. Yay. <laughs> No, this is, uh, it's, it's always fun playing these free little indie horror games, seeing kind of what people come up with, seeing the stylization, the type of horror, what they're going to do to scare you, and how effective things are going to be with it. Obviously, the whole game, you're, you're on edge expecting this big jump scare to happen, and it's finally delivered at the end. And it's a little, I mean, you, you get to see... So there's two people. There's two people that are coming to get you. One is standing at the end of the fencing of the house, so you can see them ahead of time. And then someone jumps out from the side of the door. Um, I wonder if it would have been more effective if they just had the one person jump out from the side of the door as you're trying to leave the house. Rather than you as the player see someone else out there like, oh no, something bad is going to happen here. And you're prepping yourself. And you're like, Argh! okay, I'm ready. Uh, just for the jump scare to happen. But um, yeah, great little game. Glad this was recommended to me on my Steam page. I wish we could have found our brother. I mean, we probably did. <laughs> the little meat chunks in the butcher room. Um, I, I wish we could have saved our brother. Maybe maybe had a little bit of redemption towards the end. But no, it's a horror game. We're toast, as, long, as well as our brother. <laughs> Thank you all for coming along for this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification. That we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later. Ha, 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 ha.